Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Lisa with Lisa Cape and Quilts. Y'all, I use Inkscape for so many different things here in my studio. I cut heat transfer vinyl. I print on fabric. And most recently, I've gotten into the great world of sublimation. Well, uh, you can use Inkscape for not just those things, but probably a thousand other different things in your crafting venture. So uh, a friend of mine is learning Inkscape and she asked me, how do you create a linked offset? Well, let me show you uh, that in today's video in a linked offset. Let's say you have some text, but you have something in the background behind it and you want a little space between your letters and the background image. That's what we're showing you in today's video. I'm going to uh, share my screen with you. We're gonna jump over to Inkscape. Here we are. And uh, the version of Inkscape I am using is 0.91. I have moved my toolbars around so yours might look a little bit different than mine, but uh, here we are in Inkscape. Now I just created this as an example so that when I opened it up, I could show you, see the white space around the letters that separates the letters from the background image. That is what we are showing today. I'm just gonna erase this. We're gonna start all brand new. Just gonna create a circle, okay? We're gonna be working with a circle. I'm gonna fill that circle a color. So let's turn off the stroke and then let's fill in the circle with, uh, let's choose purple today. Today we're choosing purple. There we go. So we have our image in the background and now we're gonna add some text, okay? Uh, hold on, before we do that, I know a lot of you work with heat transfer vinyl and you also create images that print on fabric or you make cards, stuff like that. Uh, you might have even gotten into sublimation. I always work, like to work in uh, vector images. So we created this circle. I'm going to click on this tools node and you'll see that this is not a vector. We're going to quickly go up to path and put that circle on a path. Now you'll see the little nodes show up. So I like to do that in the beginning so I don't forget to do that down the road in case I want to cut this out of vinyl or fabric, right? So we have our circle. I'm gonna create some text. We will say, hello there. We're gonna make that bigger. We're gonna put it right into the center of this circle. I'm going to just uh, make this a little bigger like that. We're going to center that text and decrease the amount between those words. There we go. Click and drag it. I'm going to select both of these objects and I'm going to go to align and distribute and just center that text right into that circle. So this is what we're working with. We have the letters in the circle and this looks fine, but sometimes I like to create a little bit of space and cut out a small space around my letters from the background and that just helps them pop out even more, right? So uh, before I move on, I'm going to click the text and I'm going to go up to path and we're going to choose linked offset. Now, if you noticed, the little box around the letters changed just a little bit. And now we have this one little single square or diamond right at the top there. See that? That is your linked offset. <coughs> Pardon me. So if you were just to click and drag this, it's going to select the same color as your text. So it's going to look a little funny. I'm going to hold down the control button on my keyboard and I'm just going to drag this out and see that it looks a little funny, right? I just undid that. I'm going to go back to linked offset and there's the diamond again. Before I drag anything, I'm going to change the color down on the bottom of my screen. 
All right, we're going to just choose a color that will stand out like this green. Now, when we hold down the control button and drag that, you'll see the space for your linked offset. And I think that looks pretty good, right? We're going to go back up while your linked offset, the green space, is selected. Still, we're going to go to path and object to path. That is put little nodes around all of the green section. With the green selection highlighted, we're going to hold down the shift button and choose this purple circle. With both of those selected, I'm going to hit control and the minus key on the keyboard. And now that has successfully cut out a space from the pur purple circle. And you can see that because if I choose the letters and move them, there is the space that it has cut from the circle. I'm going to show you that's hollow. <clears throat> Just going to create a square, move this on top. See that? It is actually cut out from your circle. Now we can move this back into the center. And before I save this, we need to change these letters into a path by going to object and object to path. And now the letters have nodes as well. See that? And they will cut out of uh, vinyl, paper, fabric, whatever you're cutting. Or if you're printing this on fabric, it's going to give you really nice clean edges around your letters. So that is creating an offset with Inkscape. I hope this was helpful. We'll see you really soon. Bye.